Good morning. In this screencast, we're going to simplify log expressions. Now, in order to do that, we need to remember our definition of logs and how we move between log expressions and exponential expressions. If we have log base b of a equal to k, we can convert that to an exponential expression in the form b to the k is equal to a. So let's try a few examples. If we have the log base 4 of 16, that's going to equal some value that we can call k. And to convert that to its exponential expression, we say 4 to the k is equal to 16. And by our, pow our exponent rules, we know that k will equal 2. So we know that the log base 4 of 16 is equal to 2. For another example, let's think about the log base 3 of 81. That will equal some value of k. And converting that to its exponential form, that would say 3 to the k is equal to 81. And so we have to say what power of 3 is equal to 81, and we can figure that k is equal to 4. So we know the log base 3 of 81 is equal to 4. Third example, let's think about the log of 1 tenth. That's going to equal some value k. Now this is the common log with a base of 10, so converting to an exponential expression, we know that 10 to the k is equal to 1 tenth, and so k will equal negative 1. Notice the negative exponent in order to flip the 10 to the bottom of the fraction. Now what about our friend ln? If we want the ln of e, that's going to equal some value k. And what we need to remember about ln is that ln is simply the log base e. So here we have the log base e of e is equal to k. And converting to its exponential form, that says e to the k is equal to e. And the only way that will be true is if k is equal to 1. So we know that the ln of e is equal to 1. Let's think about looking at a table of values. Let's say we have the log equation y equals the log base 2 of x. Well, if y is equal to negative 4, what will x equal to? And so we can plug that value into our equation and solve for x. So we can say negative 4 is equal to the log base 2 of x. Converting to our exponential form, that says 2 to the negative fourth power is equal to x. And so this would be x equal to 1 over 2 to the 4 or 1 over 16. So our x value here is 1 16th. If we did the y value of 0, that would say 0 equals the log base 2 of x. Converting to our exponential form, that's 2 to the 0 is equal to x. And so we know x is equal to 1. You should try filling in the table for, x, for y values of negative 3 and 2. And your teacher will check those solutions in class tomorrow.